I want to take you through these tutorials on how to make a, mul a multiplication table for your kids. That is an automated multiplication table so that they can be able to do uh, calculations in a very simple way by following this. Now, um, this is how it works. Like you have now the numbers, you can see if I click refresh, we have it's open. There is no number that is appearing. Now I have done a multiplication for number one up to nine, for one to nine, then I've done for multiplication by two and multiplication by three. You can continue with multiplication by four, by five, by six, up to by nine, and how to do it. Like if I click get the number, I'll get the number one, two, up to nine. Then this is multiplication by two, this is multiplication by three. If I click multiplication by three, I'm able to now to see the numbers. So if you are doing for your kid, the kid will be able to see the numbers. And if you want the kid to multiply by three, you click multiply by three, he or she will be able to see the numbers. And if you want to refresh and go through it again to see whether the kid is getting or not, you click refresh. Then it will has, uh, have to refresh and you start again. You do it by two, by three, and all that. Now I want to take you through on how you can make this uh, small application to do these calculations. Now, uh, if I open a, a new sheet, now I start with, um, um, I want now to have a, a code here, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I want it uh, for nine numbers, so can I have a code here, at that sheet? So you go to your developer, you open your developer, you insert a command button, I insert a command button here, command button, so if I insert a command button here, I want this command button to display numbers 1 to 10, so first of all I can um, I rename the command person pattern, if I go to properties, I go here to command button here, I give it a name like get number like I did it, ensure that uh, it is um, this get number, get number, get number, if I talk about get number, it's just a, a, a continuous name for the name, um, but for the caption, for the, for the caption, I can have it uh, like in, even in capital letter. I call it get, get, uh, uh, get number, get number. I can call it get number. I can call it get number. Even if there is a space, there is no problem. But for uh, that is the name here. It must be continuous and no space. Um, you can uh, change things like um, like uh, the colors if you wanted. Like the colors if you wanted, you can change to uh, to to it, it it highlights to that color like that. Then from there, you are done. That is it. Then from there, I can. Uh, I can now get the code for getting the numbers. If I open here, then I I need to dim. I, I write dim. I need to dim. Uh, dim i because we shall be having i. Dim i as integer. As integer. Dim i as integer. Integer. Dim I as integer. Then I need to get um, I need to get uh, for I that is uh, for for I is one to nine for I for I equals two for I equals two for I equals to one to nine for I equals two I equals to one to nine to nine one to nine to nine then it has to do for i is one to nine then cells so we shall be having here cells 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 i one that's for column one because we are dealing with the column one that is uh, cells i'm dealing with uh, cells you open the bracket i I comma one because we are dealing with column one I one 
Cells I1 equals to I, they should be I, that is so giving me from 1 to 9, equals to, that is equals to I, equals to I, equals to I, so it will be equals to I, equals to I. So then from there, uh, I need to give next I, next, next I. So after that, I'm now done. From there, this one will display the numbers. So if I cancel here, then I go to developer, I ensure this uh, um, off design view. Then if I click here, get number, uh, get number, it gets me all the number from one to nine. So I now need to do, I now need to do uh, for column B here, for column two, that is multiplied by two. So I need again that command button I need to get the command pattern here, insert command pattern. So the command pattern, I have it here, like if I call it, um, if I call it now, yes, that is the command pattern, uh, pattern then I need to rename this command pattern. I need to rename the command pattern. I call it like uh, 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 multiple by two, that is command name. I can call it multiply, multiply by 2, which is a continuous, multiply by 2, then uh, caption here, and the caption here, I can call it M capital, M capital, that's multiply by 2, then I can also have the color here, if I need to have the color here, mm, I can have the same color for highlight, that is, right color so I have it there that is M2 then um, I move now to coding to giving it uh, I move now to giving it uh, a code now I say I can copy this one I can copy this one because I need multiplication by two uh, if I copy this one I place it here if I place it here uh, it is for I is uh, our cells now we are column two. Now we are dealing with column two. So column two, column two, that is cells, column two will be equal to, uh, we shall be having two times. It is uh, two, then times, the cells, uh, the, 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 the cells times the cells of column one, times the cells of column one, so times the cells of column one, like it was, like it was. So from there you are done. So it will be able to do now multiplication of two. Then you are done with this multiplication by two. You can test and see first of all. You can test and uh, so you ensure first of all that it is out of design mode. You get out of design mode and then you test. You see it is working. Now you go and do for multiplication by three. With multiplication by three, you count multiplication by four, by five, the many that you want, let me do multiplication by two, by three. So multiplication by three, I'll do the same thing. I'll have to insert a, a command pattern here. If I go to design, I insert command pattern here. I need to insert a command pattern if I need it from here. So I need to insert a command pattern here. Then I'll be able to do this one. So I. I have to, to be, uh, rename it, so I can rename it, I can rename this one, you go to properties, and I give it uh, a name here, and I give it a name here, like multiply by three, that is more, multi multiply by three, multiply by three, then I give, I give the name here, uh, I give the name here. 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 That is the caption. I call it M M3. So if I call it M3, then I can have the back color. I can change even the back color here. If I wanted to change the back color to 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 another color that I wanted. Like you want the back color to be to be 
like 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 in the hall, like like um like that one. If I make that one and maybe I change the, the highlight color here like, to be the same like the other ones. Like the four color I change it to be the same like these other ones. Uh, you can do that. That is just formatting. Then from there uh, then from there that's more prep by three and then from there I can um, move on and uh, give now the coding. The coding I repeat the same but now in this tie at this uh, this time uh, I repeat the same here so if I repeat the same what I'll do here is now 3 remember I'm multiplying by 3 you do with cell 1 so it remains so you do all of up to 9 then you're done because if I do it here I need to go out of uh, uh, design mode I get out of design mode so that uh, I apply it now oh okay I did it in the wrong place. I this ought to have been. Uh, there is a uh, messed up with the code in a way, so you ensure that you go to design mode and change the code. It's supposed to be dim i as integer for i is uh, so it's supposed to be cell i3 not i2 should it be cell i because we are dealing with column 3 column 3 so that uh, column 3 times so this is what i did not change it's column 3 is uh, 3 times uh, column 1 so that is it and then from there it will work now so if you come here to developer you make sure you're out of design mode so that uh, now you get all the numbers so this should be times 2 and not 3 like it was now i want to have um, a refresh pattern like you saw in my case so a refresh pattern still you do the same you come to you come to to, to what you call you insert here uh, the, the, the pattern here you insert I can have it here I can have it here and then I name it I name it and I call it here and, uh, I can call it uh, refresh refresh then I can also have the same, and I have it in a different way. If I wanted the color to change here, uh, if I wanted the color to change here, I can have like the one here. Then I also need the, 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 the I can also have the caption name here as a refresh, refresh. And uh, how it with a, a different color here, like um, you want to change that color to that color, and then uh, it's okay. It uh, looks like if I wanted it that way, then I need to to have the code. The code is uh, flashing. Uh, you have to ensure now if I double click. Now on the refresh uh, on click, what I need to do here is to write the range. My range was between, if I looked at, um, if you look at my range, my range was between A1 and C9. A1 and C9. And therefore, uh, if I go to, the, to, 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 to my coding now, I go to my coding, the range, uh, so I need to do the uh, range range I open the bracket so that is the range a1 a1 uh, remember it must be in quotes for you in this case the range must be in quotes the range must be in quotes a1 2 we put a current there uh, a1 2 um, a1 to c9 to c9 that was my range and I end my quotes. It must be in quotes like I said. Then I close my bracket. I close my brackets. So dot dot I need to clear text dot clear content dot clear clear contents. So if I take range this dot clear contents, it will clear the contents every time you click the pattern, it shall clear the contents that was in. So if um, I go now and see whether it's working, 
you look at uh, ensure design mode is off then uh, you clear content so you see the content has been cleared when you click on refresh so i can start i go that i go by modification part three i clear content so that is the simplest way of uh, doing this for your kid to ensure that the kid is able to learn all the time thank you for listening and ensure you subscribe for future uh, uh for